Yeah, if it's a uh, egg sauce cheese biscuit, yeah. Mm. What do you think you're going to put in the It's got to Oh, that was hot! Orange juice is like the best way to start a morning. We had some McGriddles and some hash browns. They're so watching some football in there, which, you know, it is what it is. But, guys, last night was just ridiculous um, in terms of just exploring around Asheville and stuff. I got that kind of bass voice in the morning. Um, I, for whatever reason, we got home at like 2.30. And I couldn't go to bed until like 4.45. I was like the first one in bed. Like I had showered and I was good, ready to go. And I just got in bed and just stared at the ceiling. Have you ever done that? Where you just like can't shut off no matter what you like try to do? That's what happened. Uh, so today's the day that we leave. Um, don't really know what the plan is. I don't really know when we're supposed to be out of here. But I think we're here until, I don't know, like 2 o'clock or something like that. And then we'll probably head on out after there. We're trying to decide where to go for lunch. There are a couple like... Um, kind of local places. There's a place that I went to about five years ago when I came here. Uh, that's like a yeah, fried chicken sandwich place, kind of like Zaxby's, if you know Zaxby's. And there's also like a barbecue place, so we'll see. <laughs> oh my god. He's was... gonna get two cities from that freaking Monopoly card. Oh, that hurts. Oh, it's tied again. We'll have to keep me... Uh, I'm the road builder now. Yeah, I, I, I'm the community lackluster road builder. I have nothing else I can do but spoil it. Uh, Wanna go throw a ball? Yeah. You can pick the sheep. What's board. that? Contract here? Yeah, it's not You know, they're just throwing it. No, that's not a gun. You guys got a little bread, and then I get a road. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, So I think we're going to clean up the house just a little bit. I think the guys are going to come outside, or at least some of them. We're going to play some wall ball with a tennis ball we found in the uh, dining room on this wall right here. And uh, yeah, I still don't really know when we're going to leave. I think they were very lenient about when we could ch check out of the Airbnb here. Um, but I think half the guys did drive. And I think they said they're going to plan to head up around three or four. I have to return the, uh, the rental car that I got it at five, and our flight is at 7.59, I think. So yeah. Um, um, yeah I'm just gonna watch. Yeah. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Does that kind of thing throw, or is it just kind of throw? There's Roy. Still waiting for Roy to emerge in the brush. Oh, there he is. He emerges. Hi, Roy. Hey, Dennis. Back in the ball. 
went over to the other side of the fence, and then I went to go get it. And then I threw it back over here, but I threw it over the uh, garage there. And then I tried to go up on the roof to look for it. Couldn't find it, but they did find another ball. <laughs> but like, now I feel all kinds of cut up. But I didn't fall out of a tree. Good job. So that's good. All right, it looks like uh, that is it for our stay here in this lovely little house um, for Travis's bachelor party. Uh, I think we are gonna go have some lunch now. Ironically, at a place called McDougal's, which I went to five years ago when I visited my buddy Seth when he went to Vanderbilt here. Um, yeah, so, uh, dang. Uh, and then after after lunch, um, we're gonna go, I guess, to the airport. Maybe maybe something before the airport, probably not. Um, because half the group needs to kind of get going, so they're gonna hop in their car and start driving. They have about a five hour drive ahead of them. So then I guess me and a couple other guys are probably just gonna head to the airport, maybe like <laughs> a few hours early, and then we'll see. I don't really know. I, that's been a kind of a motif this weekend is I don't really know. Hey, there's some change on the ground. Cool. All right, then it's time to go. So Dennis, we are on our way to lunch, but I don't think I've showed the people this. Look at that. Show them all the sides. How did that happen? I was trying to get a rebound and like tip it to somebody else but instead of doing this kind of thing. I For what, this basketball? Kind of thing. Basketball, yeah. right? Basketball. Dang, Dennis. Everybody's hurting themselves this weekend. But it looks like we made it to McDougal's and this is so cool to me because I came here five years ago. Did, like, does anybody else experience that kind of like weird phenomenon where like you go somewhere one time, you don't think you'll ever go back and then you kind of just do and then you just remember it, it's fun. What do you think of this place, guys? It's fun, man. It's nice. Yeah, it's really cool. Decorating for Halloween, it looks like. Yeah, I know. And uh, do you just go up for ice cream at the end, or? Uh, usually, but actually today the ice cream machine's down. All I want to talk about is the Red Sox and the Patriots. Uh -huh. yeah. The Bruins. They have a South Dakota. Boston is both obnoxious and has a superiority complex in New York, and that's what drives that's it. Hot. What do you think of that, Dennis? Is it good? It's still too hot for me to tell. What did you think of McDougal's? It was good. Right? Yeah. Very uh, reminiscent of Zaxby's, if you've ever been to Zaxby's. I think it's reasonably priced, and you get free ice cream, too. We didn't, though. Yeah. Ice Their cream ice cream down. machine was down, which kind of stinks. But I mean, it's it's good. It's just like a little like kind of cup of like vanilla, which is kind of nice, palatable, after your chicken. Bye, Travis. Bye. Bye, everybody. Love you guys. <laughs> the group is split up. All right, let's go have fun. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so not to brag too much, but I totally just uh, parallel parked. Okay, I'm gonna brag because that's hard. So we're like in like the midtown area of Nashville right now, and we're about to go into a little bar over there, but I left my ID in the car, so I have to go all the way back to get my ID. I didn't think I needed to get into like a bar like in the middle of the day. I thought that was only like kind of like a nighttime kind of a thing, but apparently not. All right, got my wallet, back to the bar. Ugh. I made it back. Yeah, there you go. You got your ID? I do. I'm gonna come a little POV, okay? No, for real. Never mind for fun.
some game. What's up? All right, let's go join right. them over there for some Jenga. Wait, aren't you civil engineering? Yeah. <laughs> so you're two civils against each other. All right, let's see who got the better UF education. <laughs> Please complete this degree. Oh, hold on. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn, big boy. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my Wheaties. <laughs> yeah, that's probably smart. You can go that close to the top. I guess at this point. Force is gonna pull everything horizontally and bring it all down. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Alright, Dennis, we just dropped off Matt and Jorge. They wanted to go to a barbecue place for dinner, even though we just had lunch like two hours ago. Um, but now we are off to the airport to return our rental car and then head home to Orlando for me. So we are at the airport, but I have a little uh, information to share that's a little bit less than awesome. Uh, we returned the rental car, and the guy found a scratch on it that I don't remember putting on that car at all, and we got charged an extra $75 because of a scratch on the car that was probably already there before we got it. That kind of sucks. So after mulling it over a little bit more, it may have been something that I did. Uh, because the driveway to our house was at a very kind of a steep incline and if I took that turn Maybe at, like the wrong kind of like angle a little too sharply then it's like possible that like in turning the bumper maybe could have like It was probably more of a scuff or a smudge than it was a scratch But they can kind of charge you for these things if, uh, if they want to well thankfully unlike Orlando We made it through security here in Nashville in about one and a half minutes as opposed to like 55 whatever it took over in Orlando, that was kind of crazy. But uh, 
we're here, we're through, now we just gotta wait uh, an hour and 45 minutes until our flight. Sky looks really pretty over there. And there's Dennis's head. Looking around for places to find a beverage, and I think that I found one. All right, the lights are being a little bit weird, but I got a naked juice here, a strawberry banana, and I got a blueberry here. So I'm excited about that. Also, my shoes untied. Hi. How much longer do we have till our flight? An hour? Cool. Alright, here we go. First flight of the night. Alright, Dennis. Ooh, that was close up. We are on our way to our connecting flight from Atlanta to Orlando, and I am ready to go. I am tired and sleepy. I don't know about you. Me too. You too? That last flight was a little bit weird because we both got the middle seat for some reason, and I don't really like the middle seat. Um, but it was only a 34 minute flight from Nashville to Atlanta. It's a 34 minute flight. Who would have guessed? So this flight's gonna be like about like an hour probably, but then we're gonna get home at like midnight, a little bit past midnight. I was just trying to remember when I came to this airport and it was only like a couple months ago because I came here to meet up with Travis and Christine to go to um, the lake house. We came here and then we rented a car and drove over to the lake house from this past summer. Dennis, we made it. Uh, it takes so long to get off planes, man. That is just crazy. Goodness. And we didn't get to finish Cars 3. Yeah, we watched Cars 3 and we got this close to the end. We didn't get to see the climax of the movie. Um, we're heading out here to meet uh, Brennan, who's coming to pick us up, who's so lovely for doing that because it's one in the morning. So, uh, yeah, let's go say hi to her. And there she is. Yay. All right. We made it home. There's Farley's usual wiggle out of my arms. There's Brennan. She came and picked us up, and she actually dropped us off a couple days ago. Weird that it was a couple days ago, but she dropped us off really early in the morning. There's Dennis back there. And uh, that completes our trip to, to Nashville to hang out with Travis for his bachelor party. Right, Dennis? Woo! All right, it is about 1.30 right now. I work tomorrow at 8 o'clock, and he's heading home, and then she is heading to work too, but... That does it. So thank you so much for coming with us and having a good time. Thank you for coming, Dennis. Thank you for taking us to the airport, Brennan, and bringing us home safe and sound. Yep. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Goodbye.